Good morning. This is Linda K. And it is uh, Friday, August the 9th of 2019. And this is plus tube number 16. I'm sorry I haven't been making videos lately, but we I've had a death in the family. And two of my good friends were in the hospital. So it's been really hectic lately. And I think my cat, Buttercup, is going to video, photobomb my video this morning. Yeah, so that's why I have been making videos. Um, first of all, I'm looking at my notes. First of all, I want to give a shout out to Leeches, Stitching, and, and Touch, S-U-T-H. Um, that is her video, her flat, <coughs> excuse me, her flat tube, um, uh, channel, leeches, stitching, and such, and I will leave the link down below in the, in the description box, and she is a very, very beautiful stitcher, and she stitches on all kinds of patterns. And she is just a amazing stitcher, and she is constantly stitching on something, and she she is just unbelievable. I just love her, and and she lives in New Zealand, which I think it, it is so neat because I like to, um, you know know where the where us stitchers live and it's interesting to hear people and to see people people from other countries. Um I have one, two, three, four, five. I have five whips to show you. So Grab a cup of coffee, tea, pop, whatever you drink, and enjoy this video. And first of all, I want to thank all of my subscribers. And I am up, I think I'm up to 200 subscribers now. Yay! So thank you so much. I appreciate each and every one of you and for all of your comments and for taking the time to... Um, watch my blog tube videos, even though sometimes I'm kind of like scatterbrained. And I'm wearing my Mayberry Sheriff hat this morning, and I'm not having a bad hair day. See? Okay. But I I love this hat. I If I ever lose this hat, I'm, I'm still going to die because it's one and only Mayberry Sheriff hat that I will ever, ever have in my entire life. Um, and I'm drinking my coffee from my pretty springy flowery coffee cup. Oh, that coffee is so good. Okay. The, uh, Hang on a second. Okay, the first one that I want to show you is called Library Fairy. And Here is what it's going to look like. I'm trying to get it. And I'm making this for my library, for my new library here in my town. Because we got a new library now and it is just gorgeous. Get my throat out of the way. And 
and here was what it looked like. This is this on 28 count. Hang on a second. Because I get the two mucked up. One eight count white joker, and this is all the threads that are for this product, and that's how I keep my threads <coughs> for each of my projects. Each one had a separate box, story box, and I can put all these threads away when I'm done with the with the project, and I keep the little tag. I keep the little tag and it has all my information on it. Where I, you know, name of the fabric, what count, what size. But yeah, this is done on 28 count white uh, Jovan, uh one over one. So it's taking me a while. And where you see the edge of the black. That is the end of page two. And I got one more page to go, you know, right here. And then four, five, and six will go underneath pages one, two, three. And then pages seven, eight, nine will go under four, five, and six. I worked on this last night for a little bit. And I and I grid it so it'll be a little bit easier on me. And I do take the edge well you can't see it. Well yeah you can. I take the edge because as far as I'm concerned, that's the easiest way to do it. But keep your uh edges from playing out. I used to have a pair of pinking shears but I don't know what happened to them. I think they got, I don't know. So I'm going to have to buy me another pair so I can uh, cut the edges of my fabric with pink and sheer because it'll keep the edges from <coughs> playing out. So, and I do work on these. I try to work on these every single day. And then here is my new star. I can find. I don't know what I do with the. Well, shoot. Let me. Hang on a minute. I'm trying to. picture of it so I can talk, show it to you. Maybe. Here is my new start and it's from Little House Needleworks and it's called The Bookshelf. And it says The Bookshelf, Browning, uh, Dickinson, Alcott, Burnett, Austin, Bonte, Wilder, Sense and Sensibility, The Secret Garden, Wuthering Heights, Little Women. And since I am a avid reader, I could not resist this pattern. I just had to have it. So I thought I would start it after I got done with my pumpkin hollow farms. And here it is. Let me get the fabric info. Okay, let me hang on a minute. I gotta figure out which way this goes. Oh, like this. Like this. Okay, I got it. Okay, the fabric I'm doing this on is 28 count light 
Mocha Castle Lena. So that's the name of the fabric and the count. And I'm doing this two over two. And here's what I got done so far. The I got the fabric crooked on the tube now, but whoops. Well they ain't going to help. That's a little bit better. So there it is, the start of the of the bookshelf. And there is a whole row of these going a little bit further this way and, and then all the way this way. So I'm going to get that down first. And then I am going to do the wording and take it from there. So that is my new star. And then here is one of my old, 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 old whips. And it's called Alphabet Soup. And it's by the Design con Connection. And the uh, designer is D. Shelby. That's who designed it. And here's what it looked like. And when I saw this, I fell in love with this. I just love this. And it's going to be hanging up in my kitchen. I don't have, oh yeah, I do too. The fabric that I'm doing this on is 28 count Ivy Jolin. Then I got, you know, And here's what I got done on it. And I'm telling you, this section right through here, the flowers, that is very, very hard. And the quarter stitches, back stitching, and I got one more section over here and then down to, to do. But the flowers are like right here. And there's not that many to do on this side. So this part is the worst part right here. So I got that done. I'm working my way over here. Do this section right here. And then I'm going to go over here and do this section. And finish up with the flowers right here. And then, then this whole section of the flower will be completely done. Then the rest of it is a piece of cake. And I got the top of the border started. So and then this is the top of the soup bowl right here. And then you know, then the rest is like the border and stuff. So I work on this every day and I do a little bit each day because by the time you get all the back stitching done, by the time you get some of the quarter stitches done, you're about ready to quit on it. So I'm doing a little bit each time and there's going to be a little bit better that way. So yep. That's what it looked like. And of course I have my thread hanging in the way. There. That's better.
and I just love this. I'm anxious to get it done though. I want to get it done. Okay, then the next one, and I'm not going to take it out of the tube now because I'm going to wait till I get the page finished on it. But you can see what I got done on it though. The name of this one is DDR Franks. And here is, if I get it in the right direction. Well, maybe. And here, whoops. Ah, wait a minute, I'm having a problem. There. And that's what it's going to look like. And I'll pull it out so you can kind of get an idea how my echo. But uh, that's what it looks like. So, actually. I got her face done, which is like right, right here. That's covered up. And, uh, and I'm doing this on 18 count Ada. And I do grab my fabric because, because believe me, with this pattern, you have to. Otherwise, you're going to get lost. And so, I got her face done and Maybe next Friday when I make my video, I will sew the whole thing, and I probably should do that. So, so next Friday I will sew the whole thing because I'll have a whole lot more done on it. And so this is page ten, I think. Yes. This is page ten right here. So I got I right here at the end of Okay, right here. Right here at the end of page ten. So I got from here all the way over and then up. So I'm working my way this way because it's easier for for me to go across than it is to go down. So that's what it looks like. And of course this is the border and, and it's gonna go all the way down. And you know it's it's a circle oval shape pattern so the whole border is going to go all the way around and the border is a pain in the neck to do because it is quarter stitches well no that's not right it's not quarter stitches it's less and lots of confetti stitching sorry about that and tons and tons of confetti stitching and the border and I have been working on this since like 2007 but I started on this three different times and this is the third time now that I started on this and so I made my mind that I was not going to quit on this I was going to continue it and get it done so I'm on page 10 out of 36 pages So, and, uh, 
this section right here. Okay, this section right here and this section right here is part of her arm. And and then the rest of it is part of her wing. And these are my um uh, and threads. My waist knot threads. And I have discovered how to do the pen stitch. So pen stitch is just super fantastic. So that is my my longest, my oldest heaven and earth design whip and the uh, artist is Daniel Cook and of course it's designed by myself say say Yady. I hope I said that right. And then my longest and oldest really big Marabilia pattern. And, uh, Silver Moon Tea by Nora Corbett. And this is the only Marabilia that I have ever, ever started. And I'm doing this on, hang on a second. I'm doing this on 28 Count Lugana and the name, the name the color name of the fabric is Isold, I-S-O-L-D-E, and it's hand dyed fabric by Stephanie. And I started this and, uh, and, uh, on May the 20th, 2017. And here is what I got done as of yesterday. Sorry about the, but yeah, that's what I got done, and I'm almost up at the top. I got this is. I got two, two more sections to do, above, right like right here, and then because I'm working my way up. I'm going over and then down and and then that'll be the end of the top section and and then that's what be done except for the beading. And I do have some of the beading but I don't think you can see them. Um right there, the green beads. And then I think that's about it. I think that's the only beading that yeah so when I finish getting this stitch then I'll go back and do other beading so this is my only marabilia that I am doing and then when I get this one done, then, I, then I'm dying, dying to do the Raven Queen. I am dying to do that one. I got the pattern, and I since it's done in black, most of it, I'm still going to do it on white, plain fabric. So... So that is all of my whips that I have been working on. And 
I got a whole, I got like, see, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. So when I get one of the small ones done, then I'll pick up another one of my whips and work on it. So my plan for this weekend and for this coming week is to work on all five of these. So because I'm going to continue working on them until I get them done. And I know that my two heaven and earth design is going to be a while before I get them done. But... I will, those are the only two that I'm going to work on until I get them done. And then, like I said, when I get either the alphabet soup done or the Mirabilia Silver Moon Tea done, then, I, then I'm going to do the Waving Queen next after I get the Silver Moon Tea done. And then after I get the alphabet soup done, then I will pick another one of of my older whips and start working on it. So that is my plan. That is my goal. And in case I didn't say it, this is blast tube number 16. So, and I have decided, and I'm going to be very faithful in making a blast tube video every every Friday. Because Fridays, I don't do nothing. I don't go nowhere. Well, except for I walk up to McDonald's because it's only a block away from my house, but um, other than that, that, that's what I'm going to do. So, I want to thank each and every one of you for watching my video, and hopefully I won't have any trouble uploading this, because I'm going on 27 minutes and 7 seconds. And, uh, the weather in my corner of the world is very sunny, it's nice and cool out, it's not totally hot yet, and it's supposed to be cooler during this, starting today through the weekend, so hopefully it won't be too hot, and I can get outside and weed out my flower beds and stuff because they definitely need it filthy in the back. So, and like I said, I'm a, I am will put the link to Lisa's Tissing and Such link down below in the description box. And please go watch her. She is super fantastic, sister. So, I think that would be it for now. Oh, and the book that I'm reading, it's its on my Kindle. The book that I'm reading is called Books, Crooks, and, no, Books, Cooks, and Crooks by Lucy Ollington. And it's the third book in a novel, Idea Mystery. And there are two more books in this series. And I read the first two. I'm on the third one. So when I get this one done, then I'll read number four and then number five then that'll be it for the series and she only wrote this series that's the only series that she has ever written and it is a really good series if you like cozy mysteries because I those are the type of books that I like to read mostly it's cozy mysteries Amish mysteries children's mystery or children's books and and middle grade books and some sci-fi fantasy books. So those are the books I like to read. Well, I will let you go and I will talk to you all later and I will see you next Friday in my blog to video number 17. So I will see you then. Take care and happy testing. Bye.